Apple's case solution for their all new line of iPads comes in at the premium cost of 79 US dollars for what looks like just a big piece of silicone. At this steep price, one could buy Herschel's Pop Quiz, the best backpack for daily use in my opinion. Is it worth this premium price point or another example of Apple taking a cheap product, slapping their logo on it and doubling its price? To achieve a complete thorough review of this case, I'll break it down into three main categories, appearance, functionality, and quality. The appearance of this case is likely the leading reason as to why people buy this seemingly overpriced case in the first place, and perhaps rightfully so as in my opinion of all the cases I could find on Amazon, functionality and value put aside, Apple's smart portfolio case looks the best. And this will obviously be subjective from person to person. Unsurprisingly, overall it has a very minimal design with the case being solid black with just a sweet, sweet little Apple logo visible from the back when it's not covered by the front flap. In reality, it's no secret Apple makes beautiful products and their iPad Pro and Airlines are no exception to that rule. With their industrial boxed off design and relatively thin bezels, it's hard to not appreciate how clean and professional they look. And of all the cases I could find, Apple's smart portfolio case does the best job of keeping the attractive style of the iPad or even adding to it. So objectively, on its own, the case may look silly with its complete lack of sides. However, when paired with the iPad Pro, it is one of the best looking tablets on the market in my opinion. And in the day and age of taking pride in what brand cell phone you decide to buy, that is extremely powerful and perhaps warrants giving this case's appearance a 10 out of 10. Compared to an iPhone case, the functionality of an iPad case is worlds apart, and it's taken me the past month or so to appreciate that. An iPad case can serve as a conventional case, a stand, and even a screen protector when wrapped around the front glass. And when Apple's smart portfolio case is put into practice, it serves most of these functions pretty well, the foremost being as a stand. Apple's portfolio case allows the user to set up the iPad at two different heights. Personally, I only use the conventional height, however, I could see the other being useful in select situations. I have yet to utilize the other position though. Then, the Alcantara feeling interior of the case does a good job of keeping the iPad screen relatively protected and even dust free as every time the user opens the case, it's like dusting the screen. Finally, and perhaps the most obvious of which, this case does a horrible job of being a case. It will protect your iPad from minor blemishes like if you put your iPad in your backpack with a water bottle and forget maybe. However, anything beyond that will likely leave you with a broken iPad. When you close the case, it will also automatically turn off your iPad, a feature much more convenient than I originally anticipated as when I'm in a rush, it's really nice to be able to just pick up the iPad and have it automatically turn off. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, the case has magnets in various areas of its body and they work extremely well. They keep the top flap in the triangle shape to hold your iPad up, stick the flap to the bottom of your iPad when you're not using it to keep it out of your way, and give the user the ability to flip the top portion down to stick and connect to the middle of flap, allowing you to take pictures without having to worry about it getting in your way, a feature very underrated and not present on most other cheaper cases. Moreover, it's worth noting that if you have an Apple Pencil, this thinner case with no sides works best with the Apple Pencil, as if you get a beefier case, getting your Apple Pencil on and off the side can be a bit more of a pain than just separating the magnets like with Apple's thin portfolio case here. So overall, if you're like me and only use your iPad when you're sitting, then this case functions perfectly. However, if you bring your iPad everywhere with you and use it out and about, I would strongly, strongly recommend investing in a more protective case, as if you drop the iPad, it can be up to $550 to repair the screen. Apple says the case is constructed from a single piece of polyurethane to protect the front and back of your device. Otherwise, Apple does not give any information on what this product is truly made from on the inside. And perhaps rightfully so, as despite how short their statement on what the product is made from, it only left out what the hard points on the inside of the case are made from. At first, I assumed they were entirely made from magnets, but after a month of use, it became pretty clear that there are magnets in select places of the case, so it's easy to pull the case apart when flipping from front to the back or vice versa. Since the entirety of the visible portion of this case is made from silicone, I was definitely skeptical of this case's quality as my past experiences with Apple silicone cases have been near absolutely negative. Fortunately, put into practice, this case has pleasantly surprised me, and that's in large part due to the fact that the case doesn't go in and out of my pocket several times a day like an iPhone case would. However, that's not to say the quality of this case is as subpar as Apple's other silicone cases. An iPad case serves an entirely different array of functions in comparison to an iPhone case, and as such, I'll review its quality differently. After over a month of near daily use, some light cleaning of various scuff marks that didn't leave any real damage to this case leave it looking as good as new. 
The three parts of the case that bend when flipping the case from different positions originally concerned me the most, and they all look and feel as good as new after a month of use. Overall, when one takes the purpose an iPad case serves into consideration, I'd say Apple's smart portfolio case has the quality that will likely stand the test of time. The case I have is for the iPad Pro, however the iPad Pro and Air are almost identical, and as such, so are the respective smart portfolio cases leading to me including both the tablets and the title. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a case to protect your iPad from any minor blemishes, maintain or even improve the look of your iPad, and last you a long time, the Apple Smart Portfolio case may just be worth the investment. Also, please do consider subscribing as only 3% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed and any support really does help.